What is up guys, my name is Wetzel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Zombies game mode coming to Warzone. Yes, this is a real game mode coming to Warzone, this is not clickbait, I'm actually going to be showing you guys a lot of the game files that's already in the game right now, which may or may not get this video taken down, but it's good to have proof. There's a lot to be covered in this video, so I'm going to cut the intro for now and get right into it. In the background, I'm just going to throw up some classic World at War Zombies gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy that too. But anyways, with the recent Season 5 update that hit last week, we have seen a bunch of new game files come in having to do with the new Zombies game mode. First off, we have the Quick Revive emblem that has been put into the game. If you guys don't know, Quick Revive is a perk from Zombies. It allows you to revive faster, and when you play solo, it basically gives you a self-revive. Next up, we have leaked images of a night style map in Warzone. This is something that people have been talking about a long time. People have always wanted a night map for Warzone. It would be amazing. There would be so much more camping and hiding. It would be great. But anyways, people have photoshopped some images to look like night maps. But these are real authentic ones from a night map. So we have the Quick Revive emblem coming to the game. We also have images of a night map. The third thing is official. It is straight from the game files. These are the announcer voice lines for this new game mode. It is about a full minute of audio, so I'm going to disappear for a minute and let you guys listen to that. And after that, we'll come back and discuss how this game mode works and possibly when it's going to release. Zombies are not affected by the gas. Caution, zombies are immune to the gas. Be careful. Zombies are more powerful in the gas. Kill them all. Defend the chopper. Final stand. Stay alive. The chopper is down. Fight your way out. Extraction failed. Fight for your life. Extract failed. Fight for your life. Consume enough remains to respawn as a human. You'll become zombie if you die. A member of your team has to be human for extraction. Last human team standing wins. The dead will become zombies. Be the last human team standing to win. You're out, but your teammates can still buy you back. Zombie teammate killed. Raise the dead at buy stations. You need to keep one person on your team alive. So here we have almost an entire minute of voice lines. This cannot be fake. There is no photoshopping or faking with these. You heard the guy. You know that this is the same guy that's been doing all the announcements in Warzone, so this is real. But he says a lot of different things that we need to slow down and discuss in order to learn how this game mode works. Now after hearing these game files, we can safely assume that this game mode is going to work a lot like the Pandemic game mode from Black Ops 4. If you guys don't know what that is, it was basically a Zombies game mode, but it was a PvP game mode into where you started out as a human, and when you died, you turned into a zombie, which had infinite lives. As a zombie, you could run faster. You also had tomahawks. The only caveat to it was that you had 100 health. So you were weak as anything. And the goal was to basically infect every single person on the map and turn them into a zombie. There was a circle that would shrink. And it would take about, I'd say about 10 minutes for all the circles to shrink down to the end. So every game was only about 10 minutes. So that's pretty much Pandemic summed up in a minute. Also another great thing about that game mode that not a lot of people talk about was that KD actually counted for that game mode. So if you killed 90 zombies, aka 90 other players, those 90 points went straight to your KD. And that's how people achieved like 5, 6, 7, 14 KD ratios in Blackout. But let's take a few moments to analyze these voice lines and learn how they're different from the Blackout Pandemic game mode. So first off, like any other game mode, you win by being the last team standing. Great. But we also hear mentions of an extraction, which may be another way to win. I'd assume it's like maybe there's like a couple opportunities where a helicopter lands, you get on it, and if you don't get killed while getting on it, you win? I'm not too sure. Judging by the voice lines, it seems like your extraction could be canceled by other players, whether they blow up the helicopter or they shoot you while getting on it, 
or maybe a zombie comes along. I'm not too sure. Speaking of the zombies, the way you become one, I'm honestly not too sure, but what we know is that they are immune to the gas. So if you're a zombie, you could run around the gas and take no damage. And also as a zombie, you could turn back into a human, supposedly if you consume enough remains. I guess that means um, kill humans or loot humans. I'm honestly not sure what that means. But otherwise, there are ways to turn back into a human, which is awesome. And then the last things these voice lines talk about are buybacks. So what this means is if you get killed by another player, like let's say you're a human and you get killed by another human, it seems like you're just going to go into purgatory and you could just get bought back. I don't think you immediately become a zombie. I think maybe the way that it works is that if you don't get bought back fast enough, you become a zombie. Um, I'm not really sure. But judging from the voice lines, that's what we know is going to happen. So that's everything we have about the new zombies mode that's coming out. We're going to talk about a release date and then we're going to wrap up the video. So judging from the voice lines and all the other game files, it seems like this is almost like a finished game mode. I don't know how long it takes to make a game mode, but I would assume it comes out in the next couple weeks. Multiplayer for Cold War is actually getting revealed in a few days on September 9th. So we may see it on there. We could also see a Halloween release because it is a month or two from now, but that's kind of a reach. I don't know if that's correct. But anyways, it's going to be soon. If it hits the game files, it's going to be released within the next month or two for sure. We've seen this with many other things in the game, such as the ISO SMG, the Rytec Sniper, the Juggernaut game mode, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah, if it's in the game files right now, it's coming soon. And with that, I'm really out of things to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from it. One quick thing to remind you of before I go, I am streaming again on Twitch very, very soon. So if you guys want to follow me over on there and get to know me while I'm live and just hang out, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Otherwise, my name is Wetzel, and again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace.